In this video, we're going to learn how to insert page breaks and section breaks. First of all, I'll show you how to not insert a page break. Do not move text onto a new page by repeatedly pressing the Enter key on your keyboard. To insert a page break correctly, click on the Home tab and click on the Show High tool. With the Show High tool on, we can see what's going on behind the scenes. We can see the spaces between words along with paragraph marks between paragraphs. With the Show High tool on, place the cursor where you want to insert the page break. Click on the Layout tab and under the Page Break section, click on Page. A shortcut key to insert a page break is Control and Enter on your keyboard. A page break marker is now visible on screen. If the Show High tool is turned off, you will not be able to see where on a page the page break is and you'll type blindly on screen wondering why text is not appearing where you want it to. Now we're going to look at section break pages. As the name suggests, a section break creates a new section separate from other sections within the same document. When will you want to use section breaks? In this example, I want this table to be more visible so we'll change the document orientation to landscape. However, when I change the orientation to landscape, the entire document is now landscape, which I don't want. To fix this, I will need to insert a section break page. Delete the current page break, and with the cursor positioned in the place where you want to insert the section break page, click on the Layout tab and click on Breaks. This time we're going to scroll down to the section break section and select next page. Now that we can see that there is a section break page via the show high tool. Now click onto the page you want to change the orientation of by clicking on the layout tab and changing the orientation. Now the pages within this section are landscape and the pages before the section break are portrait. However, when we keep scrolling down, the pages after the landscape table are also landscape, but we want them to be portrait. To ensure the following pages are portrait, we need to insert another section break page at the end of the table. Now we can click on the page where we want the pages to be made portrait and change the orientation. The portrait pages are portrait and the landscape pages are landscape. Now let's take a look at column breaks and continuous section breaks. I'm going to format these paragraphs to three columns by selecting the text, clicking on the layout tab and clicking on columns. With the Show High tool on, we can see that a new break has been inserted just before the first column. This break is known as a continuous section break. A continuous section break is a section break on the same page. There is a continuous section break before the first column and after the last column. If you want to specify where a new column starts, you need to insert a column break. Place the cursor where you want to insert the column break. Click on the Layout tab. Select Breaks and under the Page Break section, click on Column. Now we're going to look at section break pages and how they affect the header and footer. If we click into the header or footer section of a page and include text, despite there being section breaks in a document, the same header and footer will appear on each page. We have to specify in the header and footer section which sections should display certain text. When you click into the header or footer of a document which contains section break pages, the link to previous section of the navigation group will be highlighted. If you do not want a different header or footer for different sections, you need to click on link to previous so that it is unhighlighted. You can then edit each header or footer of that section by highlighting or unhighlighting link to previous.
You can also tell the different sections from the header and footer once they have been indicated. For example, footer section 1, footer section 2, etc. Finally, we're going to look at section break pages and page numbers. If you want to restart page number in different sections, click into the header or footer, right click on the page number and click on format page numbers. By default, it will continue the page numbering from the previous section. As we want to restart the numbering in a new section, we will select start at and choose the page number to start from. In this example, I'll select number one and click OK. Now the page number for that section has restarted from one. Likewise, if you're working on a document with multiple section breaks and you want all page numbers to run sequentially, then click into the header or footer of each section break page and select continue from previous selection. Thank you for watching this video and remember to always have the show high tool on so that you can see what's going on behind the scenes. See you in the next video and be sure to like this one and subscribe for more.